Hi. Just glamping around here. I'm Christina. And I'm Jeremy. And we just started glamping. In our 14 foot Fun Finder X139 travel trailer. We named her the TARDIS because she's bigger on the inside. So with having a 14 foot travel trailer and a family of four, um, we're constantly looking for ways to save space. Um, but we have priorities because we are glamping. And one of our first priorities of the day is coffee. But not just any coffee. It has to be espresso. I can't just drink regular coffee. So we actually have what we use every day uh, in our home for making our coffee or espresso in the morning. Uh, and we're not sponsored, but this is our Mr. Coffee Cafe Espresso. Um, and we use this to make that morning coffee. Um, however, as you can see, it takes up a fair amount of space. And where we're sitting is also our bed. Yeah, and we need to be able to put this into a bed, so this can't just stay where it's at, and there's not really a place to put it. So, we started doing some research. And with that research, we found a pretty nifty little item <laughs> called the Abode Source uh, Portable Espresso Machine. Um, and it's supposed to be 100% manual, no batteries, no electric, and it will make espresso. Uh, so what we're going to do today uh, is compare uh, the taste that we get out of our Mr. Coffee Cafe Espresso to our uh, newly acquired Abode Source Mini Portable Espresso Maker. Let's get started. So we've got our coffee ready. Um, we have uh, this one that we get from Publix, uh, Kroger's if you live up north. Um, we've got everything set and ready to go, so we're just going to lock this in place and we'll get our coffee out. All right, so we've got our espresso from our everyday espresso maker. Uh, the crema is good, um, color is, is good, so we know what we're getting there. So let's go ahead and taste it just in its raw form, and then we'll make something to compare. It. This is what we bought online and it's completely manual. There's no electricity, no batteries, no nothing. Power goes out, still have coffee. It's all manual. Um, there's a couple of different pieces. The bottom is your cup, like she said. Um, the top is our water tank, which we're going to fill up. Uh, in there, there is your little scoop that you get for it. So let's go ahead and put our water in our water tank and there's a fill line you don't want to overfill it because otherwise you'll have scalding hot water run all over you and from what I hear that's not fun so there's a little fill line that you fill it to and then according to the instructions you you fill your scoop up and you want to mound it out and then you're going to hold the filter over top of your scoop and then tump it upside down and then it says to use the bottom of your scoop to lightly tamp it down you don't want to press too hard because if you press too hard you could mess up your machine according to some of the other um, things that we've read on these type of portable coffee makers or portable espresso makers. To me, coffee is espresso. It's not coffee if it's not espresso. <laughs> All right. All right. So we have it set. Hold the cup. And then we have to pump it a few times to get it to be primed. And then wait 10 seconds. All right. Mmm, that looks so pretty. Now, according to the instructions, it said about 15 pumps would be an espresso. So 
So you can get about two cup, two uh, shots of espresso out of this. As you can see, it looks beautiful. Really good crema on top. And the color is, it's dark. It's actually not, I don't know, let's hold that up. Wow, it's, it's not far close. off at all. It's not like, as dark, but it is close. But it, so. there's only just a touch of it difference and it's still settling. This one's already settled so that with the crema still kind of coming to the top, it might darken up here in a minute because it's still floating up. Um, I think that's, that, I mean, taste is an opinion, so. Yeah, this is more bitter. Own. That's more smooth, actually. That tastes better. Yeah. So, hands I, down, I think this is going to be the, uh, this is going to stay in the camper. Actually, this might even go with me on backpack trips. This is going to go everywhere. <laughs> this is going to go thing really is so this tiny. Is awesome. Look at this. This little thing, it goes, let me use the cup here to push this in and twist. And that's how it locks into place. So now you've got it locked. You put your cup back on the bottom and you put it back in your backpack. No leaks anywhere. Look at that. So you can wait until you get back to your camper or your home or wherever you're at to clean it out. And it says it will even do cold brew so you don't even have to use hot water. Um, we'll have to try that another time. But uh, for us in our glamping lifestyle, I think this is gonna fit in our tiny little TARDIS and uh, hope you enjoyed it as much 10 as out we of 10. will. 10 out of 10. And uh, again, the link will be in the description for buying this on Amazon. And again, we're not sponsored, but I like it. Until then, hang loose. If you liked the video, then hit the like button or the subscribe button if you wanna see more like this video. Put in the comment section if you'd like us to test out another glamping item.